Okay, All right. I, I wanted to do a little mini mic drop here. Um, it's uh, <laughs> mic drop. It's actually kind of a clarification on a mic drop. You know, usually my mic drops are scripted and they're uh, they're uh, you know have it written out and everything. But I wanted to. We well, last last week we went over the Republican Party and the, they endorsed an anti-gun guy named Hammerling, and I wanted to clarify something. You know, it's not so much that they endorsed a guy who is, you know, clearly anti-gun. He spent his career, um, you know, spreading gun violence restraining orders and making sure that other jurisdictions uh, had gun violence restraining orders. He's a true believer in gun violence restraining orders. Um, and he made that clear to us. He, he didn't back down at all. He said that gun violence restraining orders were good for gun owners, and that's about as bad as it gets. I wanted to clarify that it's, you know with the Republican Party, it's not so much that they endorsed him. He was the only uh, Republican in the race. So, okay, you know they endorsed him. He's, it's still bad. They shouldn't have. But it's the way in which they did it. Um, San Diego County Gun Owners has been a trusting uh, a partner with the local Republican Party. Uh, for years. And the unfortunate part is they absolutely smashed us. Um, we told them from the get-go, hey, we at least want a discussion. We at least want the Central Committee, the Republican Central Committee, to discuss the option. And we at least want them to make it clear that these gun violence restraining orders are not good. Ultimately, yeah, we, we didn't want them to endorse, but we definitely wanted them to discuss it, and they refused to do that. And all that blame lies on one person. It's a guy named Tony Kavark, who used to be the chair. He's no longer the chair, but he's still basically acting the chair. He made the decision for the entire Central Committee, and that's wrong. And the fact that he stomped on San Diego County gun owners and alienated the gun owner community in San Diego, possibly permanently, is wrong. So that's the, the, the biggest problem. It's, it's problematic enough that they endorsed a, an anti-gun guy for sheriff who has no idea what he's talking about when it comes to CCWs. And if he implemented the plan he wants to implement with CCWs, it could very well you know completely ruin the CCW uh, process that we've helped put in place. Now, I think we've course corrected him there. Um, but he's not going to be able to get away from his gun violence restraining order passed, and the Republican Party is not going to be able to talk their way out of the way that they just absolutely disregarded, stabbed gun owners in the back. It's just, you know, it, it's it's a possibly permanent damage. So, so could you really tell us how you feel? That's how I feel, and I wanted to clarify, and thank you all so much. Thank you for the outpouring of support from people saying, hey, yeah. Mike, San Diego County Gun Owners did the right thing. The Republican Party is all wrong. Absolutely. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.